Hello everyone, welcome to the signal system class. In this presentation, we will discuss the jet transform of some important functions. We have already derived the formula for finding the jet transform of a given function ft in the previous class and we found that the formula for jet transform is given by f of z is equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity of f of n t into z to the power minus n. So, by making use of this formula of jet transform, we will find out the jet transform of some important functions. Let us take these functions one by one. The first function as you can see here is the unit step function. We have to find the J transform of this unit step function. Now from the definition of J transform we know that the J transform that is f of z is given by summation n is equal to 0 to infinity f of nt into z to the power minus n. Now the value of ft is ut. We know that ut is a unit step function whose magnitude is equal to 1 for t greater than and equal to 0. So we have plotted this ut in form of discrete samples. So, on substituting the value of ft in this equation that is we know that ut is equal to 1. So, we have substituted the value of ut in this equation. So, this will come out to be f of z is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to infinity of 1 into z to the power minus n. Now, on substituting the different values of n this equation will come out to be 1 plus z to the power minus 1 plus z to the power minus 2 plus 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 z to the power minus n and so on. And this will be equal to 1 divided by 1 plus z to the power minus 1 because this is a geometric series whose common ratio is minus 1. So, this equation will come out to be z divided by z minus 1. So, we see that the z transform of unit step function will come out to be f of z is equal to z by z minus 1. Now, let us move on to the next function which is a ramp function. A ramp function is given by f of t is equal to t. This is a ramp function and we have to find the z transform of this ramp function that is we have to find the z transform of f t is equal to t. Now, from the formula of z transform we know that f of z is given by summation n is equal to 0 to infinity of f of nt into z to the power minus n. So, we will substitute the value of this function in this equation. So, we get f of z is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to infinity nt into z to the power minus n. For different values of n this equation will come out to be this much and on Simplifying it, it will come out to be this much. We found find that this is a binomial series. So, we can write this as f of z is equal to t z minus 1 into 1 minus z power minus 1 whole to the power minus 2, which can be written as t z minus 1 divided by 1 minus z power minus 1 whole square. Now, we multiply both the numerator and denominator of this equation by z square. Then we have f of z is equal to t z divided by z minus 1 whole square. So, we find that the z transform of any function t will be given by f of z is equal to t z divided by z minus 1 whole square. Now, after finding out the z transform of the unit step and the ramp function, we will find the z transform of the function e to the power a t. So, on substituting this value in the form formula for z transform, we get f of z is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to infinity e to the power a n t into z to the power minus n. And for different values of n, this equation will come out to be 1 plus e to the power a t into z to the power minus 1 plus e to the power 2 a t z to the power minus 2 and so on. And this equation can be written as f of z is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus e to the power a t into z to the power minus 1. Now, we multiply both the numerator and denominator of this equation by z. So, on simplification this will come out to be f of z will be equal to z by z minus e to the power a t that is the z transform of the function e to the power a t will be equal to z divided by z minus e to the power a t. 
Now let us find out the Z transform of cos omega t and sin omega t that is we have to find out the Z transform of the cosine and the sine function. So first we will find out the Z transform of e to the power j omega t. We know that e to the power j omega t can be written as cos omega t plus j times of sin omega t. So we can write Z transform of e to the power j omega t is equal to Z transform of cos omega t plus j times of sin omega t and this can be written as Z transform of cos omega t plus j times of Z transform of sin omega t from the property of Z transformation. Now because we have found out the Z transform of e to the power at, so we can write this as this can be written as Z to the transform of e to the power at when the value of a is j omega and we found out that the Z transform of e to the power at is given by Z divided by Z minus e to the power at. And here we will substitute the value of a is equal to j omega. So this will come out to be z divided by z minus e to the power j omega t. Now we know that e to the power j omega t can be written as cos omega t plus j times of sin omega t. So on solving this it comes out to be z divided by z minus cos omega t minus j times of sin omega t. Now we will multiply the numerator and denominator by z minus cos omega t plus j times of sin omega t then we will get f of z of e to the power j omega t will come out to be z into z minus cos omega t plus j times of sin omega t divided by z minus cos omega t whole square minus sin square omega t that is z transform e to the power j omega t will be equal to z into z minus cos omega t plus j times of sin omega t which divided by z square minus 2z into cos omega t plus 1. Let this be equation number 2 and let this be equation number 1. This is equation number 1 and similarly this is equation number 2. Now we will equate both the real and the imaginary parts on the right hand side of the equation 1 and 2. Then we find that on comparing the equation 1 and 2 we find that z transform of cos omega t will come out to be z into z minus cos omega t divided by z square minus 2z into cos omega t plus 1. And similarly the z transform of sin omega t will be given by z sin omega t divided by z square minus 2z cos omega t plus 1. This is how we can find out the z transform of cos omega t and sin omega t. Now the next function is the hyperbolic sine and the cosine functions as you can see in here we have to find out the Z transform of the hyperbolic sine and the cosine functions that is we have to find out the Z transform of cos hyperbolic Bt and Z transform of sine hyperbolic Bt. So first we will consider cos hyperbolic Bt. Now we know that cos hyperbolic Bt can be written as e to the power bt plus e to the power minus bt divided by 2. So if we take the z transform of cos hyperbolic bt then it will come out to be z transform of e to the power bt plus e to the power minus bt divided by 2 and this can be written like this that is half of z transform e to the power bt plus e to the power z transform e to the power minus bt and we have already found out the z transform e to the power bt. So we will have z transform e to the power bt can be written as z divided by z minus e to the power bt. Similarly, the z transform e to the power minus bt can be written as z divided by z minus e to the power minus bt. On simplifying this equation, it will come out to be as shown here that is z transform of cos hyperbolic bt will be equal to z by 2, 2z minus 2 cos hyperbolic bt divided by z square minus 2z cos hyperbolic bt plus 1. Now 2 2 will cancel out from the numerator and denominator so that the z transform of cos hyperbolic bt will come out to be z into z minus cos hyperbolic bt divided by z square minus 2z into cos hyperbolic bt plus 1. In a similar manner we can find out the z transform of the 
hyperbolic sine function. So, for finding out the jet transform of sine hyperbolic Bt, we will write the formula for sine hyperbolic Bt. We know that sine hyperbolic Bt can be written as e to the power Bt minus e to the power minus Bt divided by 2. So, this will be equal to half z of e to the power Bt minus z z of e to the power minus bt. Now, we know that z transform of e to the power bt is z divided by z minus e to the power bt. Similarly, the z transform of e to the power minus bt is z divided by z minus e to the power minus bt. So, this will come out to be z by 2 z minus e to the power minus bt minus z plus e to the power bt divided by z square minus z e to the power bt plus e to the power minus bt plus 1. We will solve this equation. So, it will come out to be this much and we know that we can write e to the power b t minus e to the power minus b t as 2 times of sin hyperbolic b t. Similarly, we can write e to the power b t plus e to the power minus b t as cos hyperbolic 2 times of cos hyperbolic b t. So, on substituting these values, we find that z transform of sin hyperbolic b t will be equal to z times of sin hyperbolic bt divided by z square minus 2z cos hyperbolic bt plus 1. So, we find that z transform of sin hyperbolic bt will be given by z sin hyperbolic bt divided by z square minus 2z cos hyperbolic bt plus 1. In a similar way, we find here that we can write e to the power bt plus e to the power minus bt as 2 times of cos hyperbolic bt. So, we have written here and here also 2 times of cos hyperbolic bt. So, we find that the z transform of cos hyperbolic bt is given by z into z minus cos hyperbolic bt divided by z square minus 2z into cos hyperbolic bt plus 1 whereas, the z transform of sin hyperbolic bt is given by z times of sin hyperbolic bt divided by z square minus 2z cos hyperbolic bt plus 1. So, these are the z transforms of some important functions. In this class, we derived the z transform of unit step function ut, the z transform of the ram function t, the z transform of the function e to the power a t the z transform of cos omega t, z transform of sin omega t and the z transform of cos hyperbolic b t and the z transform of sin hyperbolic b t. So, that is all in this presentation. We will discuss the next z transform of the next functions in another presentation.